millions of the most vulnerable Americans could lose their Medicaid insurance when the pandemic ends, and some state officials are worried they might not have enough time or resources to help people find new coverage. Here's what could happen from Paul Siegert, managing partner at PCS Advisors. Paul, explain. So we've had this surge in enrollment. It's 20% greater than really it's ever been. We're up at 77 million almost, and we're usually in the low 60s uh, in terms of 60-something million in terms of enrollment for this program. So then when they unwind the public health emergency, whenever that stops, and they say, okay, we're, we're ending this, we're declaring that this is the end of the public health emergency, then there is there was a six-month period of time for states to go back and audit their enrollment in the program. Okay. And that would likely, and that's been extended to 12, because I think there's a lot of uproar going on, and it's just going to be a massive undertaking. So then it's extended to 12, but they expect probably 15 million people are on that actually don't qualify by the income and other rules because uh, they will have resumed working and therefore are making above right. the, the prescribed number? That's right. Yeah. In simple terms, that's pretty much what's going on. So you have, it's interesting to see the different, all the factors at play. You have some people, depending on their kind of just political leanings and, and, and so on, saying, hey, this is a looming crisis. What they're kind of ignoring is the fact that we have, not only through this Medicaid additional subsidies to Medicaid, uh, but just additional subsidies to Obamacare overall, we've actually, as a government, taken people off of other coverage, employer-sponsored coverage, individual coverage that they may or may not have had subsidies for. We've taken them off of other coverage and put them on the government's coverage. So a lot of times it wasn't that we were adding people that did not have coverage before. I see. So it's in fact, if you look at the the situation today, the the uh, institute that did this recent study, the shoot, who is it? It's the Urban Institute. They, uh, in their own analysis, what they're saying is that you have 15 million people that could lose coverage, but uh, nearly all of them will either qualify for a subsidy for an individual plan where they pay a portion of the premium and the government picks up the balance on, a, on an Obamacare exchange, yeah. or they'll have access to employer-sponsored coverage that meets the affordability rule of the ACA. Got it. We're speaking with Paul Siegert, managing partner at PCS Advisors, a benefits consulting firm. We're talking about how millions may lose health insurance after the federal emergency federal health emergency is declared over. Um, so that, that could be a real shock for some folks, I guess, if they're not paying attention to I don't know, the mail or any kind of other notifications, right? I mean, you go to a, I don't know, geez, I mean, heaven forbid you wind up in the hospital and get a bill for 20 grand. Uh, what are you supposed to do then once you find out, heh, guess what, you're no longer on Medicaid? Yeah, that's the issue that is, could, this could be, it's a story that's not really getting talked about it, but it has the potential to be one of the biggest events in, in health coverage in our country in a real long time. That affects the, the, you know, a lot of people. And you have, if you're trying to find out if you're going to be affected, this is system is so overwhelmed with all of this enrollment, the wait times on the call centers are an hour plus. You can't really expect that people are going to necessarily do that waiting. So it, I think we will have a lot of a lot of things happening like what you've described. But what might you do if you're a, if you're a patient in that case? You know, when you get handed that bill, I, you were under the impression you, you were covered. I mean, I, know, I, I presume you're on the hook, but I mean, do you have any yeah. recourses? Yeah, well, you know, it gets back to some other conversations we've, we've had as far as yeah. how much discount do you get if you're a cash 